the middle of Turkey, you can see totally different landscapes than in the big cities like Istanbul. Cappadocia and Pamukkale are probably the most famous ones. Lately, it's been a little hard for some people to go see them because of the pandemic. So, I'm gonna show you what they are like in 2021 through this video. Depending on where you depart from, there are several ways to get to Pamukkale and Cappadocia. I was staying in a city called Izmir on the east coast, so I decided to go to Pamukkale first by train. Well, you can go by bus as well, and it's probably a little faster, but I took a train because it's more fun. Actually, neither the trains nor the buses directly go to the famous viewpoint of Pamukkale, so you need to transfer to a minibus at a nearby town called Denizli. The big white hill you see behind the parking lot is Pamukkale. It looks like snow, but it's actually not. Hot spring water is flowing over it. The lime in the water has been consolidated over a long time and has made this beautiful white color. Actually, you can walk on the hill and get in the hot spring, so let's go! This is the hot spring water gushing out from the ground. You need to take off your shoes here and walk barefoot. The line makes the ground very slippery, so let's hope I won't fall and drop my camera. On the top of the hill, there are huge remains called Hierapolis. This city used to flourish as a hot spring resort, and now it's registered as a World Heritage Site with Pamukkale. The sun is going down, so I decided to go back to the bus terminal in Denizli and take a night bus to the highlight of my Turkey trip, Cappadocia. Cappadocia is the name of a huge region in the middle of the Anatolian Plateau. It's known for a bunch of unique rock formations. All of the rocks have a different shape and there are a lot of other things to see such as traditional pottery workshops, fresco paintings in rock hewn churches, remains of an underground city and a cave hotel, so it's impossible to see them all in a day. But the most exciting thing you should do there is a hot air balloon tour. The view you see out from the hot air balloon at sunrise is spectacular. Of course, everyone wants to see it, so the balloon tour is often booked up. If you are lucky enough to take the tour, you need to wake up at around 4 a.m. to make it before sunrise. But there are specific weather conditions needed for the air balloons to fly safely, and because of that, the tour is often cancelled on the day. That means if you really want to get on the balloon to see the view, you need to manage to find the available tour and keep waking up at 4 a.m. until the day when the balloon can actually fly. Hey guys, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. I've never woken up this early in my life. And if you know me, you also might know that I'm really, 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 really bad at the morning. So, yeah, I hope it's really worth it. The car that picked me up at the hostel went to a site where our hot air balloon took off. And after heating up the hot air in the balloon, it's time to enjoy one of the most beautiful landscapes in Turkey. I'm driving down an empty freeway No waiting for the light to change I'm 
Hot air balloon experience, it's a tradition to have a champagne party. It has a story, my friends, for you. Uh, in the world, the first balloon flight was discovered by Mongol Fair brothers. For testing flight, they chose three animals duck, sheep, and chicken. It took about 10 minutes after landing, all these animals were still alive, so Mongol Fair brothers didn't champagne. Because the balloon flight has been started, now have this experience and still alive. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Really, thanks. Enjoy your champagne.